and we're seeing ya. Terry, back at you with another video. This week for Animal Facts, I am combining all three of my dogs into one video. So you're gonna learn about Bernie's Mountain, Jack Russell Terrier, and Boxers all over again. So here I am, finally teaching you facts about these wonderful animals. I have my two friends, Rocky and Monty, here to help. I'm sure you recognize them from the Terrigal stories. The Bernese Mountain Dog originated 2,000 years ago in Switzerland, but more specifically the Bern Canton region. Get it? Bern region? Bernese Mountain Dog? Bernese Mountain Dogs were originally bred to pull carts, herd cattle, protect families, be a guard dog, and be a human companion. These dogs are especially excellent at the latter three items on that list because they are affectionate, loyal, intelligent, easy to train pets. The other three breeds of Swiss Mountain Dog include the Appenzeller, the Etlin Butcher, and the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Of all the Swiss Mountain Dog types, only Bernese have long fur. This multicolored black, white, tan fur also sheds a lot. They are also a dry mouth breed, so you do not have to worry about dripping saliva. Full grown Bernese Mountain Dogs are 23 to 27 inches in height and 70 to 115 pounds of weight. These dogs need at least 30 minutes of vigorous exercise per day. Bernese Mountain Dogs can pull a load 10 times greater than their own weight. They are also perfect for cold climates. And this time I'm teaching you all about Jack Russell Terriers with the help of my friend Jack O'Lantern. Jack Russell Terriers were originally bred by John Russell, a man who lived in Devon, England back in the 1800s. He also bred the Parson Russell Terrier and the Russell Terrier. Their original purpose was to assist with fox hunting. These dogs are sturdy, tough, and tenacious, much the same as they were 200 years ago. They are also extremely intelligent, athletic, fearless, and vocal. These dogs require an insane amount of exercise, and if they don't have enough, they can easily become moody. This makes Jack Russell Terriers really good at dog sports, such as flyball and agility. They can also jump five feet straight into the air. Jack Russell Terriers really love digging, so if you have this dog as a pet, beware they don't dig under your fence and escape. Jack Russell Terriers are very prone to separation anxiety. Therefore, when you leave them all alone in the house, it's recommended you leave on some kind of background noise, such as your radio. These dogs shed a lot, so they require very frequent brushing, but luckily it's very minimalistic on the bathing front. On average, Jack Russell Terriers are 10 to 15 inches or 23 to 28 centimeters of length and 14 to 18 pounds or 6 to 8 kilograms for weight. Jack Russell Terriers sunburn very easily, so please do something you're probably not used to as a dog owner and put sunscreen on them on very hot days. So, even though it's cold and snowing, we still made it out to the park to give you another weekly animal facts. I guess we're kind of doing a mini series on dogs, because this week we're doing boxers with my friend Boxer. Not a very creative name, but I still love him. Boxers originated in Germany from Bullen Beisers, or however you pronounce that, that also created bulldogs and mastiffs. They were originally intended for the hunting of large animals such as bears and boars. These dogs have a unique head shape with a purpose. Their snout is half the length of their skull, their jaw is undershot, and their teeth are very strong so they can hold prey in their mouths while still breathing. And even though these dogs were originally bred to be hunters, they're also very good, loving family dogs. Boxers were quite instrumental during World War II. They would carry messages or supplies, and they could also help locate injured soldiers on the battlefield. Guess what? Boxers do actually box. They can stand on their hind legs, as seen in the video, and they kick out with their front legs. It may take some effort, but boxers can be really good at dog sports such as agility and rally. However, you have to be patient when training, because even though these dogs are extremely intelligent, they get easily bored by repetition. They can run at up to 30 miles per hour. A boxer's fur can be one of three colors, fawn, brindle, or white. The white boxers are highly susceptible to becoming deaf due to a lack of pigmentation in their ears. 18% of white boxers in America have been affected. 
A boxer's puppyhood is one of the longest of all dogs as it takes them three years to reach maturity. And speaking of puppies, they also have really big litters with eight born at a time. That concludes this video on fun dog facts. If you enjoyed it, please drop one down below. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of our future content. Check out all of my social media accounts linked in the description. And lastly, please head to our website. There are fun stories to read and cute outfits to purchase. We'll see you on the next one.